um, this is my review and including some sample excerpts of the book of The Flame of Love. That's what it's called, and it's put out it's by Elizabeth Kindleman. And this is real messages from Jesus to this woman in Hungary. And I'll give you some samples of how good the book is, because I like to give sample quotes. Um, I circled some of my favorite quotes, because I wanted to share the inspiration, and also just to show you if you want to buy the book, you know it's really a, a good book. Um, I find a lot of these good books. And so, I'm just... Okay, now, Our Lady Continued the Teaching. This is um, the Virgin Mary Mother of Jesus also uh, messages. Our Lady Continued the Teaching. Earth is experiencing the calm before the storm like a volcano about to explode. Earth is now in this terrible situation. The crater of hatred is boiling. I, the beautiful ray of dawn, will blind Satan. No dying soul should be condemned. My flame of love will now be lit. <clears throat> it will be a terrible storm, a hurricane that will want to destroy faith. In that dark night, heaven and earth will be illuminated by the flame of love that I offer to souls. Just as Herod persecuted my son, so the cowards, the cautious, and the lazy extinguish my flame of love. The Heavenly Father protected the child Jesus, and he will defend my flame of love. I lead to heaven those whom my son gave, gained by my by his immense sorrow. See, these are really important, um, interesting messages, um, saying things to pray for and all these um, secrets of how life works and everything, and and how to save souls and everything, different, you know, wisdom things. <coughs> Then Our Lady spoke, Jesus' mother, I do not want one soul condemned. All must desire the same thing. This is why I place this beam of light, the flame of love, in your hands. Then the Virgin spoke, My anguish comes from the danger that threatens the whole world because families are no longer places of prayer. I want to save the world, and I want you to be the first to experience immense power, this immense power to blind Satan. So these are really important messages for the world. Just want to share a few quotes here. Why are you surprised? I said, this is Jesus talking. The Lord said, had, had said to me, I cannot give you up. Today he explained, why are you surprised? I shed all the drops of my blood to save everyone. With all your strength, you must want the same thing, that everyone be saved. I'm just writing down which ones I already put on the video, so I won't say any repeats. Okay, so anyway, I just want to share a few. Let's see. Have convent confidence. Always refer to the flame of love. The following week, Jesus spoke. I am happy with this work. Do not be so ambitious. I am happy with the little sacrifices. You think you will be a saint if you do great things. You are mistaken. Great things bring glory to you. We will gather small sacrifices. See, this tells the secrets of how the spiritual thi beings think and everything. It's really interesting and, and helpful. The important petition. For a long time I did not dare to record Our Lady's petition. When you pray the Hail Mary, include the following petition. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity. Okay, this is a prayer that you include that you can include in the Hail Mary. Um, spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. See, that's some of these little known things. Um, like at Fatima, when um, she told to to add that part about saving souls from the bad realm, um, you know, this is another thing to add to it, okay? <clears throat> in another message, he said, to you who are lukewarm, how can I gain your attention? You no longer come to me in confidence. You are content with the passing things of earth with when I want you to come to me. After this, Jesus said to me, record my complaints. Perhaps when they read it, their hard hearts will be inflamed. I wish I had to complain only about a few. Jesus said to me, always ask. I am happy to distribute my treasures. You will cash them in at your death. Human words cannot express what I have prepared for you in heaven. At your arrival, my heart will skip a beat. Those whom you freed from purgatory will welcome you. Oh, that's interesting, huh? I mean, so happy. Um, like good friends, they will await you. This joy will never end. Jesus said, 
My heart suffers because of consecrated souls. I walk with them, but they do not recognize me. They live in wasteful laziness, seeking only their own comfort. They act as if they were not my workers. O tepid souls, do not force me to raise my sacred hands to curse you. Was my sacred body crucified in vain? Do you not see what I have done for you? Is not your heart moved? Do you not want to share in my sufferings? Why are you standing here doing nothing? I suffer for you, but you excuse yourself. Once as I was leaving church, Jesus asked, Why are you leaving so quickly? Is there anything so important as I? Just tell me that you love and adore me. Oh, our thoughts must be one to save souls from eternal damnation. Do you know how much my soul suffers when souls are lost? You must see Thursday and Friday as days of great grace. During the hours of reparation, the power of Satan will weaken to the degree that you pray for sinners. I have given to you the task of making known this love. Never believe you are important. Consider yourself as nothing. Always do this. See, it says all these secret things to do that the spiritual beings want us to do that we might not even know about otherwise that are really important to help save souls and help the world. Um, so try to like, um, if you want, you could try to collect books like this, this one or other ones. Just um, look at your bookstore. If you buy books, books online, like just search for message, real messages from Jesus and his mother Mary, Virgin Mary, and you'll get books like this. And... Um, um, and circle like your favorite parts that you want to memorize. If it's important prayers that you want to pray, you should pray them right as you're reading it. Or you could circle them and, and memorize them and, and pray them. Or things to do and things. It's good to circle your favorite parts that you want to really remember. During August, Jesus said, All are invited to join my special fighting force. The coming of my kingdom must be your only purpose in life. My words will reach a multitude of souls. Trust Trust. I will help all of you in a miraculous way. He continued. Do not love comfort. Do not be cowards. Do not wait. Confront the storm to save souls. Give yourself to the work. If you do nothing, you abandon the earth to Satan and to sin. Open your eyes and see all the dangers that claim victims and threaten your own souls. No, Jesus complained. No soul entrusted to my priest should be condemned. The word condemnation com causes me sorrow. I would suffer death again, even a thousand times, because a condemned soul has no hope. Unite your desires for souls with my precious blood. This will be a miraculous instrument. So you could pray, I unite our desires for souls with my precious blood. You know, like, you could make a prayer out of that, because he's saying, like, to pray that, so you could pray it. Okay, I felt Jesus sorry. It was so sharp that I almost collapsed. Oh, Jesus, I will make every effort so no soul is condemned. A day later, Jesus continued, If a fire begins, do not people put it out. Why do you not put out Satan's fire? How many look on it in cowardice? They will be responsible. They close their eyes and let souls be condemned. Oh, Consecrated souls, do not be lazy. Laziness is the root of every evil in your soul. It leads to despair, and you are unaware of its presence. Wow, this says how Jesus really feels about things. Okay, Jesus spoke of the early years of my marriage, of the family night prayer, and of the ejaculatory prayers. With your longings, you desired many souls. I listened to you. Many souls were converted and came to know me. I value your desires. I had an uninterrupted desire to save souls. Let the same desire burn in your hearts. The Lord complained, you see that almost no one is doing anything. The flame of love is not making progress. This was written in the 60s. So, um, and it's also put out by the Children of the Father Foundation. And you could, myconsecration.org, if you can't find it, it might be on that website. If you can't find it at your bookstore. Okay. The Lord complained, you see that almost no one is doing anything. The flame of love is not making progress. You must stir up the fire because you have been chosen. Or like a Catholic bookstore maybe. Or a thrift store might have it also. But you don't have to get this ex exact book. I mean, there's other messages of Jesus books and Mary books. Just Google them even. They are sometimes online for free also. Um, three days later, the Lord was again filled with sorrow. Since when did devout souls start making me wait? My patience has no limit. I promise to draw them to me, but they are not attracted to me. Jesus said, At your meal, stop eating what is tasty. Only in this way will I be your guest. What is tasty for you is tasteless to me. Um, he was saying that to the woman that he was asking to do a fast for. Um, this is talking about a Monday fast that helps souls in purgatory. Um... It didn't mean, like, probably permanently. It just was talking about that, the, the time when you're fasting, 
you eat plain foods or bread and water. Um, so, the virgin asked, because I didn't mean to take it out of context there, I want to explain it there. Okay, the virgin asked me to place the parish community under her patronage and that of St. Joseph. Every day I must ask for the grace of a happy death for souls. Okay, um, let's see what else. I asked, I ask, do you extend your hands to some who pays no attention? He responded, yes, and I will have to raise a severe hand against them as their judge. I have filled some souls with precious treasures. If they use the sacrament of penance to polish these treasures, they would shine again. But they have no interest and are distracted by the world's glitter. Jesus said, kiss these hands for those to whom I have extended them in vain. Oh, gee, isn't that horrible? Like, uh, I mean, okay. I mean, it just says all this, like, really heartfelt things. Um, that makes you, like, want to care and help, you know, pray for souls and different things. I mean, it's just, it's, it's inspiring things, you know. Okay, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts be in unison. My Redeemer asked me to say this prayer which expresses his longings. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. I made this prayer completely my own. Jesus said, through this prayer, Satan will be blind and souls will not be led into sin. Wow, no, that's a great prayer I just wanted to show you. These are some great prayers to pray in here, okay? So, you want, might want to rewind that and, like, pray along. I might make some prayer videos, too, for, for these prayers. But I just want to share how good this book is, you know? You know and you could get this book and, and pray the prayers in it, um, if you like to pray and stuff. And so, I'm just, I just want to advertise this book a little bit here. Okay, um... <clears throat> I have called many souls to follow me on the road of, of reparation, but few understand. You must sacrifice so that their numbers will increase. These souls will con counterbalance my just anger. I consider sacrifice, I was wondering about that. What is sacrifice? Maybe it's like when something's kind of a bad influence to yourself, and it might even affect other people that you're on the wavelength of. You know, something that, entertainment or something negative that you own, you could like give it away. You know, sacrifice, or even throw it away if it's too negative, you know. Um, that type of thing I consider a sacrifice. I don't consider a sacrifice only things that you enjoy that are good, but also like things that are like bad influence to you or or to potentially others that they might even sense from afar to get negatively affected by. That's what I kind of consider a sacrifice. Although it's not really a sacrifice because I sometimes like getting rid of things that are negative, and so it's not really a sacrifice. But it, I guess it could be considered, you know. I guess I'm. I, that's just my what I thought a sacrifice might be. You know, I was just wondering what a sacrifice was, because these books say to sacrifice and think so. It caused me to kind of wonder. About, you know, to kind of I analyze it so I can figure out. You know, think of what it would mean and everything. You must sa so it has meaning to me. So you must you must sacrifice so that their numbers will increase. These souls will counterbalance my just anger. My mother keeps back my wrath. Her flame of love obliges even me. Two days later, Jesus said, Ask my priest to speak of my beloved mother. They should never give a homily without exerting people to deep devotion to her. He also reminded me of my task. Desire many souls for me. This is your life's purpose, and you must always keep this before your eyes. Again, this is the book called The Flame of Love, Real Messages from the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, and Messages from Jesus. <clears throat> Okay, um, one day the Lord said, on Monday, pray for the holy souls, offering a strict fast and prayer during the night. Each time you fast, you will free a priest's soul from purgatory. Whoever practices this fast will themselves be freed within eight days after their death. On Tuesday, pray for the family and make spiritual communions for each member. My mother will take each under her protection, offer night prayer for them, invoke St. Joseph every day, he will help you. On Wednesday, pray for priestly vocations. Many young men have these desires, but they do not meet anyone to help them to gain the goal. Your night vigil will gain abundant graces. On Thursday, make reparation to the Blessed Sacrament, offer the strict fast and night prayer for the twelve priests. On Friday, immerse yourself in my sacred passion. During the day, meditate on the way of the cross. From noon to three, adore my sacred wounds. Note, this can be done even at work or school. On Saturday, venerate my mother in a special way. Seek the grace of a holy death for priests in their final agony. Priest souls in heaven will intercede for you. This is talking about this, um, how to fast. Um, begin by making the sign of the cross five times. Do the same at the conclusion. Do this also in rising, going to bed, and during the day. This draws your heart to the eternal Father. I asked, Mother, why do you not work miracles like you did at Fatima so people will believe in you? The more miracles I work, the few who believe. I asked for the first Saturdays and no one paid attention. Um, let's see what else. 
Jesus kept saying that I had to live for him every moment without interruption. He often complained about consecrated souls. They live more for the world than for my redemptive work. He said, do not spare yourself. No, no limit. Do not separate yourself from my work for even one moment. Um, the Lord said, I complain to you so that you can tell my complaints to others. I am so disappointed. What hurts most is that consecrated souls set me aside. They have no time to spend with me. They give their time to other things. You foolish ones, every minute passes. The time you spend on me is never lost. It is saved for eternity. Since you will render an account on how you spend your time, why not do everything for me? This is so easy. Okay, just making sure it's still recording, okay. Um, while at church, the Lord reminded me, leave now, you must buy bread for your family. However, the store was out of bread. As I was leaving, they said someone had called and ordered bread, but did not pick it up. Wow, Jesus called and ordered the bread for her. The Lord said, I order the bread for you. Time given to me never harms the family. <laughs> like she was putting for spiritual things, and she forgot to, um, you know, buy groceries or something, and he did it for her. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that a neat, like, miracle thing? Um. If only they knew who was ordering the bread of that store. I thought that was funny. <laughs> um, okay. Th okay. Through you we ask for a great mobilization of the whole world. Multitudes in every part of the world should petition the Holy Father for an official declaration of the effusion of the flame of love of our hearts for the whole world. We do not ask the Holy Father to examine this. That will take too long. Everyone just needs to experience this in his or her, her own heart. Our petition is urgent. No time for delays. The priests and the people gather in spiritual oneness. This outpouring will reach even the souls of the non-baptized. The our diary ends with Our Lady's petition. My children, pray for one another without ceasing. Let the outpouring of my graces produce its effect in souls. Our Lady promised, through a few people, a great outpouring of graces will change the world. No, must, no one must refuse my invitation. Our Lord promised, whoever reads about the graces I gave you yesterday will share the, these graces. Our Lady said, the flame of love will quench the fire of hell and the flame's brilliance will fill the whole earth. Be de make little sacrifices for souls. Be detached from worldly distractions. Fast on bread and water on Monday and Thursdays until 6 p.m. and on Fridays until 3 p.m. On those days, we should say five decades of the rosary. Prayer communities be formed in every parish, and that people are in 24-hour adoration. No one in that parish who dies will be condemned. That's the promise that she made, if you do that. See, that's amazing stuff, right? <clears throat> Our Lady said, if at any moment someone prays three Hail Marys in my honor while offer, referring to the flame of love, they will free a soul from purgatory. During November, one Hail Mary will free ten souls. Okay, the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Learn how to receive this flame of love. You know, in this book it says these points. Experience the effects of the flame. Pass the flame to others. Blind Satan so that he has no power over you or your loved ones. Save the dying in your parish from eternal condemnation. Release many souls from purgatory. And the Lord said, just as a magnet attracts and never lets go, so never let go of anyone. Let's pray for God's mercy for those who tear themselves away from this divine attraction. See, that gives you something to pray right there and then. Just pray that right now. <laughs> I mean, this gives all these good ideas of what to pray for. For God's mercy for those who tear themselves away from this divine attraction. You know, like unbelievers and sinners and... She added, hurry, each minute means the loss of souls. Do not be trapped by feelings of doubt. I will take the cause to those who can advance it quickly.
this suffering is just a rehearsal for the future. This time of grace for the whole world is a holy cause, but you cannot have feet of clay. To put this into action, your soul must be strong like steel. The Lord's words gave me faith and confidence. Without these two, no virtue can take root. Due to lack of faith, earth is entering into darkness, but earth will experience a great jolt of faith. People will believe and will create a new world. By the flame of love, confidence and faith will take root. The face of the earth will be renewed because something like this has not happened since the world be word became flesh. Jesus said, You are my little drop of water. Immerse yourself in the intoxicating wine of my divinity. Just have one thought, the salvation of souls. I only want flowers that are cut. These followers which are still in the pot represent a soul which still draws its strength from earth. My daughter was sick and I thought of going to the doctor. The Lord said, Do not go anywhere. It will be better if your daughter is not cured. I grew depressed because she has a husband and a child. Jesus told me why. Your daughter always has temptations. By long sickness, I will fill her with abundant graces, and her soul will be purified. So, like, I kind of was feeling some of these, these messages because I was feeling sick around the same time. So I was like, oh, wow, it's just purification maybe. And, and you know, like, they're just meaningful things in these books, you know. Okay. A prayer. Jesus said, keep saying, my adorable Jesus, this pleases me and gains graces for many souls. He stressed the word many. So that's a good prayer. My adorable Jesus, my adorable Jesus, my adorable Jesus. Also, Jesus, Mary, I love you, save souls. I also read in another book. I'm going to put that book up next. That has really good prayers with promises from the spiritual beings. Um, but this is a good prayer, too. The most... The most powerful prayer is St. Emmerich's intercession for youth. Now, I don't know what that means, but you could probably Google it and find out what that means. But that's saying that. Um, um, the Virgin Mary said that, so it's a, from a reputable cause, that, so it must be a really helpful prayer. Um, then Our Lady spoke, I grant your request. If at any moment someone prays three Hail Marys in my honor while referring to the flame of love, they will free a soul from purgatory. During no November, one Hail Mary will free ten souls. The souls in purgatory should experience the effect of the flame of love. On November, the devil tried to torture me, but he could not harm me. He was powerless and said, Now it will be easy for you. You have slipped away from my claws. I did not understand how I could kneel for hours while the demon was so exasperated. Our Lady explained, He will have filled with my... You have been filled with my flame of love. Through you I will fill all souls. While someone is at adoration or visiting the Blessed Sacrament, Satan loses his dominion. As a blind man, he ceases to rule over souls. Wow. Like, that was... I put a exclamation point on that part. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so I just want to share some of the secrets of this neat book, you know. Um, I'm just sharing a few because... I mean, it has other things too, but I just share those I think I think that I shared most of them okay but anyway I just thought oh here's a couple more often his ideas went directly to my intellect without any words one time he asked me to pray on Monday night for priests in purgatory on another occasion I asked to experience his infinite goodness he said do not ask for yourself but for those for whom you pray I ask pardon for being selfish to replace Two days later, she gave, okay, let's see, the, um, being alone in the church, I asked, Jesus, are we alone? He answered, unfortunately, yes. Make great efforts, so many will come. Yeah, because Jesus complained about being alone or something, because not very many people, like, seek him or something. Oh, I don't know, I don't remember all of them, that's why I, I circle them and I want to mem memorize them and then I'll share them that way, because I can't remember them completely, but sometimes I remember them really well, though, <laughs> so well that I, I want to share them and stuff. The devotion has a special prayer. Spread the effective grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. People should say this as an ejaculatory prayer. However, Our Lady wants this prayer inserted into the Hail Mary after the phrase, pray for us sinners. This is, this prayer has a special this devotion has a special prayer. Uh, okay. That's not phrased very well, is it? Okay, this is saying, this is a great prayer. Spread the effect of grace of a flame of love over all humanity. And, and that's the prayer she wants added to the, um, the, the rosary. The devotion asks for a family holy hour. Okay, I think I put everything. Um, oh, no, I didn't put this yet. 
Our Lady explained the fast. We can eat abundant bread with salt. We can take vitamins, medicines, what we need for health. We can drink abundant water. We should not eat to enjoy. Whoever keeps the fast should do so uh, until at least 6 p.m. In this case, they should recite five decades of the rosary for holy souls. Our La Lady said, said that the sign of the cross exposed Satan, so does the ejaculatory prayer spread the effect of the grace of thy flame of love over all humanity. See, isn't that a great prayer? Okay. The Blessed Virgin asked the priest, consecrated souls and anyone else who was able to fast on Mondays on bread and water. She promised, if priests observe this money fast in all the holy masses that they celebrate, that week, at the moment of consecration, they were free of innumerable souls from purgatory. Elizabeth asked, how many were meant by innumerable? That's the lady that, that Jesus is talking to. The Lord responded, so many that it cannot be expressed in human numbers. Wow. Um, consecrated souls and the faithful who keep the money fast will free a multitude of souls each time they receive communion that week. So it's good to fast on Mondays on bread and water. And also pray the rosary because then... Um, um, the church and the whole world are in danger. You cannot change the situation. Only the Holy Trinity, through the unified intercession of the Blessed Virgin, the angels, the saints, and the souls in purgatory can help you. Well, anyway, I said it. I, I don't entirely... Is that is that all there is to it? You just fast on... Monday, or do you pray that prayer too? I don't quite see. I'm still memorizing it myself, so um, it's good to kind of own the book so you can reread it, or you could just rewind the video if you didn't quite get all of it. But I mean, you know, I just wanted to kind of advertise that it's a good book. Is is the main point? The Flame of Love, Elizabeth Kindleman. Um, uh, it's um, Our Lord to a Woman in Hungary, and it's a really good book. That's my book review with some excerpt quotes to show what a great book it is if you want to buy it or you could just watch this video and, and listen to some of the great quotes those are my favorite quotes from it but there's other good quotes in it of course so you mean you might want to read it too so there you go because it's jesus talking i mean it's all like good really but i just wanted to especially circle like some of the prayers and stuff you know and things important like that